Uganda and Tanzania have signed a major partnership deal to build what will be the world's longest heated oil pipeline, a project that the officials hope will transform the East African region into a major oil player. But before explaining how the deal came together, let's jump back 15 years. In 2006, Uganda made one of the biggest oil discoveries in the East African region. Crude reserves were found in the Albertine Rift Basin in the west of the country. But there is one issue. Uganda is a landlocked country. Therefore, the East African nation needed help to transport its oil to the international market. For this, the country settled on its neighbor Tanzania rather than Kenya. I will explain why in a moment. The 1,443-kilometer pipeline will pump Uganda's oil from the Albertine Basin to Tanzania's Indian Ocean port of Tanga. About 80% of the pipeline will be on Tanzanian territory. The two countries hope that the pipeline will bring revenues and around 10,000 jobs during construction and operation of the project. Environmentalists are opposed to the project and have for years lobbied financiers against bankrolling it. They claim that the project will lead to the physical and economic displacement of thousands of people in Uganda and Tanzania, as well as destroy sensitive ecosystems covering over 2,000 square kilometers. The agreement was signed between Uganda and Tanzania, French oil firm Total, and the China National Offshore Oil Corporation also played a major part. Okay, let's look at why Kenya has been left out. The initial plan was to export Uganda's oil through Kenya, with the pipeline ending at the port of Lamu on the Indian Ocean. In 2015, the presidents of Kenya and Uganda even agreed on the route and signed preliminary agreements. This was done with backing from oil explorer Talo, which had a stake in developing Kenyan and Ugandan oil fields and was keen on the Kenyan route as it was cheaper compared to the Tanzanian route. But Total, which has important exploration licenses in Uganda, raised security concerns about the Lamu route in view of its proximity to Somalia and its perceived exposure to attack by the Al-Shabaab group. Then in April 2020, Talo sold off its Uganda stake to Total, which now holds a majority stake in the oil pipeline project. When built, the 3.8 billion US dollar heated crude oil pipeline will have a planned throughput capacity of 216,000 barrels of crude oil per day. Why is the oil heated? Well, simply because the crude is so gluey that it needs to be heated to travel. Uganda will pay Tanzania 13 US dollars and 30 cents for every barrel flowing through the pipeline and in the country some 2.63 million US dollars every single day over 25 years, but this still needs to be confirmed. The pipeline will take about three years to build. Uganda is projected to pump its first batch of commercially viable oil in 2025. The agreement between Tanzania and Uganda is expected to unlock billions of dollars into the economies of both countries.